Are you looking for some tips on how to start cucumbers from seed? In this video, I'm going to go over some tips on how to start cucumbers from seed and plant them right in your garden. Hi, this is Jeremy Stark here from Green Thumb Gardener, here to give you some tips, tutorials, reviews for all your gardening needs. In today's video, I'm going to go over just some very simple ways on how to plant cucumbers from seeds into your garden. Uh, the method that, that we're going to go over today is, um, actually I started this, the cucumber seeds in, uh, in basically I started them before I'm actually going to plant them into the garden. Before we get started, please give us a green thumbs up. Let us know that we're making great videos for you. Also, if you could, hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell so you get notified of any new videos that we do have. Also, we do have a website called GardenerThumb.com where we have lots of tips and other tutorials and things out there if you wanted to take a look at that. Now that we get that out of the way, let's get right into it. Hey guys, uh, back here I just wanted to just show you some of the steps that I do to plant cucumbers. Um, I don't know about you, but this is my favorite time of the year. I love um, the beginning of the spring, kind of summertime when um, I can get everything all prepared and ready for the garden. Uh, there's always different there's always different times for it you know I actually start doing my my uh, seed starting early in the early in the year but this time I really love it because I'm actually getting everything out to the garden so I know that uh, that you might be also at this time of year as well so hopefully you enjoy this just as much as me so I wanted to just go over one of the methods that I do for planting cucumbers in the garden um, so normally you can there's a couple of different options you have. You can actually direct seed the cucumbers right into the garden. And um, I've done that before. It, it's very successful. There's no, uh, you know, you might have to do a few more seeds in there. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy to do. So that is one way you can actually do it. And, and you basically, you can follow along with this. And you can basically just put all the amendments into your garden that I'll do right now. But instead of digging a hole for for these, uh, you know, you just basically are putting it in and just putting some dirt over it. Uh, the only drawback with that is uh, if you know sometimes you get some wild animals that will dig it up, or some you know some of the seeds might not germinate, so you might not have enough down there. So um, what I do is just a little temporary thing to 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 basically kind of hedge my bet here is just I plant them in these little pea pot, these little uh, seed starting trays. Uh, you can do a couple of them if you need, you know, just anything. So basically, I just put one seed in each one, and then um, I just let them grow. Basically, I water them up, and I just actually have them inside. I let them grow if it's not too hot out. And then um, you can basically these are these are these are probably about a week to a week and a half old. Uh, you can you can wait a little bit if you want. I generally plant them when they're about a week to a week and a half old as long as the weather is not predicted to be too too hot because you obviously don't want them to be stressed out but you can actually go up to about three weeks with these in here you don't want to go much longer than maybe three or four weeks uh, you're kind of kind of pushing at that point depending on how big the, the actual seed starting tray is but you, you you can plant them anywhere from a week to two weeks and they do just fine so let's get started with it so what I like to do is first I get the area that 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 I'm going to be planting the cucumbers in um, and just so you know it is best to have some sort of trellis or some kind of apparatus that you're going to be putting the cucumbers on because they do like to grow up you can grow uh, cucumbers uh, horizontally however the um, they, they're going to be different they, they might actually have a different color to the cucumbers if they're not hidden right and sometimes they'll spoil and a lot of you know different other things could happen to it they could get some uh, cucumber mosaic virus uh, because of it so it is better to have them on a trellis it, it does promote airflow and it also you know just gets them up and it's more visually appealing to be honest with you uh, but you can do it the other way as well I I don't I, I actually have not done it that way so I don't really recommend that but just building a simple trellis I actually do have a video so I'll I'll put a video up in the cards above. If you're not sure how to build a trellis, I show you a very easy way on how to do build this very exact same one. All right, so what I do is I kind of get the area that I'm going to do everything in, and I dig, I dig a little trench here. So I have 
I do a lot of um, leave mulch gardening, so I have. I'm pretty blessed to have a uh, pretty backyard that has lots of trees, and every fall I'm always uh, I'm always digging up. I'm always um, raking up leaves. But the good thing is, is I get to use them in my garden. So what you want to do is you want to actually build a trench, um, as you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, basically what this does is it's going to allow you to put the cucumber plant um, directly in there. And you want to, so if you're planting from seed, like I said before, is you can, you can actually skip this, this particular step right here. Although I still would recommend to do this because um, you want to add in some amendments so that when the cucumber plant does start growing it will have an opportunity to soak up all those nutrients and the, the particular amendments that you're putting in there but in, in this instance we're going to plant the, the little seedlings in here so that's why I'm digging up a trench in here so it makes it easy for it and what I'm going to do is put some uh, different amendments in here so that um, it will be able to um, take advantage of all those nutrients trench so what i'm going to do is i am going to actually put in some just some composted cow manure so the advantage of actually putting in the um, the amendments in here is it's going to um, promote the growth of the of the cucumber plant you want to have um, good organic matter in there so that it does grow uh, and in this instance we're using the compost of cow manure and you can use um, other type of compost such as uh, mushroom compost is pretty good uh, there is some chicken compost as well that you can that you can use um, the other thing you can add in here is um, you can add in a good balanced um, fertilizer and the um, cucumbers do like um, they do like to have a good balance um, in there but the, you do have to have a little bit more of the phosphorus and the potassium um, in there for the cucumbers so don't go too much on the nitrogen so once we got it all mixed in we're going to still use the soil that we took out to put it back in here but what we're going to do is now we're going to get our plugs out of here so um, generally what i usually do is see the little hole in the bottom you can kind of push it up but i think if you just kind of squish it around plugs right out now depending on how how old your cucumber plant is, they, um, you know, they might take up the whole room down there, but this one, not too old. So what I do is I just basically put them in, I'm going to probably put in maybe one to two for every, say every uh, eight inches maybe. That's generally what I do, I kind of do go heavy on them. Um, you can get away with just doing maybe one every, uh, every like, foot if you really wanted to, but these things are, these are Boston Pickling, uh, actually these are the National Pickling Company ones, so they're, they're like really small ones, so they're going to be very poor. prolific in the world, hopefully, and these are the ones I'm going to use to can some of pickles. So you, as I said, you want to space these out enough for what you have to grow this on. I tend to go a little bit a little bit heavier on it I um, I find that I get better yields out of it even though the plants are a little bit crowded together and you know they they are going to go through a period where it's going to um, get really hot and if it does get moist then the leaves can get some type of virus but I, I tend to go heavy because I actually do a succession planning after this so my spacing may be different than yours. So you may um, you may want to space them out a little bit further than I do, uh, and maybe put in this particular area you could put maybe um, uh, maybe four plants in there, and that would give you a little bit more spacing so that when it does grow out, um, it's going to do it. But I always get a lot of yields because I do canning. So in my my instance, I don't mind having it pretty heavy, even if the the entire crop does get. Um, a virus um, towards the end it, it always seems to happen anyways um, even if you do have it really spaced out so I try to get as many as I can up front so that's just kind of my method towards you know gardening so you might need to experiment and see how far and how close you want to have it Um, 
Um, so one of the other things that I do also use when, when I do water these in, they do prefer a higher PK. So if you look at the NPK, they, they prefer, prefer much higher uh, phosphorus and potassium because of the, they're just one of those kind of vegetables that, that do prefer that. You still have to give it some nitrogen and that, that, that soluble fertilizer plus the compost that I have is plenty of, plenty of fertilizer for it. When I, um, when I always transplant, um, when I do transplant them in, I like to use the bloom, um, more bloom, it's by Alaska. It's got a 10, 10, 10 in here. So I don't, um, I don't use that. I actually, I think for a gallon, they tell you to put, I think a tablespoon per gallon. I actually uh, do much less than that when I first transplant them in because I don't want to shock them or anything but these are these are good because it doesn't seem to burn the roots or anything i always have good luck with it so i just give it a very weak solution of that so when i'm watering everything in they get a nice little drink a nice little drink here and these are these are great for the root development so this will really help the cucumber plants get started here All right, so again, uh, some things to consider. After you do transplant them, you do want to make sure that um, that you do keep them nice and watered and that you're just checking them to make sure that they're, that they're doing okay. But generally, if you have them watered in, uh, they, do, um, they do seem to adapt to being transplanted very, pretty, pretty reasonably well. But hopefully that helped you out. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below. Also, if you could, please like our like this video if you do uh, find it helpful for you and we do um if you could also subscribe below and hit that bell so you get notified of any new videos but as always we'll see you in the next video